When God Bold was mayor here, he was fighting for his city, had so much on his plate, but really something that he was passionate about was luring the NFL to Jacksonville, making Jacksonville look like an inviting place for the National Football League. Years after he left office, the fruits of his labor were realized. Well before the Jacksonville Jaguars were even a thing, Jacksonville was used as the city that some NFL owners used as leverage in deals to keep their teams. This is video of Jake Godbold arriving in a Channel 4 chopper with Baltimore Colts owner Bob Ursay at the stadium. That was around the time that former Jaguars owner Wayne Weaver was not very plugged in in the River City. I knew very few people in the community, honestly. Uh, my brother lived here, I so I knew my brother and a few of his friends, but that was it. As the years went on, Mayor Godbold continued making a pitch to the NFL and essentially being what we recalls Jacksonville's biggest cheerleader and showing the NFL that Jacksonville had the highest attendance in the old USFL League so the NFL could survive here. That history meant a lot because when you, when you bring in leaders from the, the, the owners from the other cities, people start saying, well, why are they going to Jacksonville? Well, they're going to Jacksonville for a reason. It's a great football city. Eventually, Godbold's dream became a reality as he broke into tears on Channel 4 when the team was announced. Membership has selected Jacksonville as the 30th NFL club. 13, 14 years of emotion just all came out at one time. Jacksonville has become the 30th NFL franchise. I don't remember where they were, but here they announced that Jacksonville got that franchise. And I had no idea they had the camera on, and I... I couldn't help it. I just, tears just came in my eyes and I started crying and I got all choked. Thank God no one was talking to me at that time. And we were very complimentary of Godbold as the years went by, continuing to be involved in city government, even as recently as the demo demolition of the landing and the debate over the sale of JEA. We are live downtown, Scott Johnson, Channel 4, the local station.